So for those of you who might not know, I've started a little bit of a tradition on my channel where as I play through a game in a Let's Play series, when I feel like I'm a little over halfway through the story, I make an episode where I share my predictions on which characters I think will survive the main story and where I think the story's uh, pretty much going to end up, like how it's going to play out. You know what I mean? And it's all done in good fun. I don't claim to be any like master analyzer of writing or anything like that. I just basically take what the games showed me and um, try to make a prediction from there. And I choose to do it at the uh, little over halfway point because I feel like if you do it too early on, you haven't met all the characters and you just don't know enough information a lot of the time to make good predictions anyway. And then if you wait too late to do it, you know, like maybe a few missions before the, the final mission, then, you know, a lot of deaths might have already happened and you, you know too much information. It's just too easy at that point. You know, so I just feel like that sweet spot of a little over halfway in the story, you've pretty much met all of the big characters. You know, maybe some deaths have already happened. So I feel like we've reached that sweet spot in this story. We are a little bit over halfway, I feel. You know, I think we're approaching the end of our second act here. So um, I think it's a good time to do these predictions. And unlike the previous two games I've done predictions for on my channel, Spider-Man PS4 has a super cool character tab. So we have all our characters and their pictures listed right here. You know, and it reminded me I actually haven't checked these out yet. So um, maybe we can do a little bit of both, you know, check out their bios and then I'll share my predictions. Um, so yeah, why don't we just go ahead and um, let's work our, let's start at the bottom and work our way up the list. How about that? So we just got Taskmaster. Um, again, he's just a side character. He's definitely not gonna die before the end of the story. So he's gonna get a hard survives. I'm not even sure if I should include him, but he's here, so why not? And then moving on to Mr. Negative, i.e. Martin Lee. Honestly, guys, I think Martin's gonna die. You know, I, I ha you, you've heard me share my um, kind of predictions on how I think he's a good person, but he's just being corrupted. You know, I haven't seen enough evidence of that. You know what I mean? Like, in the little snippets we've seen of him kind of lurking around, he just seems more and more like a jerk. I think he's gonna die because I don't believe i still refuse to believe he is the main villain of the story you know i'll get to a little I'll, I'll get to it a little bit later on but um i still think otto and norman are going to end up being the main villains in our story because they are the two iconic two of the most iconic spider-man villains and dr octopus and green goblin respectively you know so i think martin lee or mr negative whatever you want to call him is only like a um kind of like a catalyst for that it's to set that up you know what I mean? So I don't think he's going to survive. I, but I also, I'll also i also say if he does survive, I won't be surprised. Now, what's interesting here is that it lists them separately. It has Mr. Negative here, but Martin Lee up here. So I'm not sure what the significance is of that or of anything. You know, I just assume they'd kind of like include him in the same in the same tab. Maybe they are two different people. Who knows? But um, based on the knowledge I have now from the point in the story that we find ourselves in, I'm just going to count Mr. Negative and Martin Lee as the same person. And I think that they are going to die. He is going to die by the end of the game. Moving on to Tombstone. I think he had his cute little cameo and he's um, moving on to the, you know, the prison or wherever they're going to keep him. I think he's done for, but uh, there's no need to kill him. He's going to survive. The Silver Sable, you know, kind of falls into that category I mentioned a while ago with Pete and Black Cat, where based on the DLC, we already know that she doesn't die. And even if I didn't know about the DLCs, I still would have just predicted her surviving just because, you know, she's not too involved in the story yet. She plays a decent part where, you know, Norman has hired her mercenary force to fight back against the demons. But um, I don't know, I just don't feel like her dying or whatever would give any significance to the story. So she's gonna get a hard survives for me. Moving on to Rio Morales, Miles' mother. I think she's going to be like the Aunt May to Miles. She's going to survive. You know, they already killed off Jeff, rest in peace. Um, so I think she's, I think that's evidence enough that she's just going to survive. It, it, it's just, it'd be repeating story points by taking away another of Miles' parents. So she's going to survive. Now, Miles Morales, I have, um, I'm, I'm playing through this game late enough to where I already know that they are making a sequel to this game based around Miles. So he's obviously going to survive. And again, just like I mentioned with Silver Sable, even if I didn't know that, I don't think it would make any it would make any sense to kill off Miles, you know, 
after you already killed his dad, like, you know, what, what would that teach Peter other than something he already knows, which is, you know, he has a lot of responsibility to protect people. You know what I mean? So Miles is going to get a hard survives for many obvious reasons. Skipping over Jeff, because uh, like I said, he's already passed away, which is another testament to why I like doing these predictions a little over halfway, because you get some early deaths in the story uh, out of the way. So rest in peace, Jeff. And uh, Herman Schultz, the shocker. Yeah, see, look at that. That This is what I'm saying. Silver Sablanova slash Silver Sable. Herman Schultz slash Shocker. But it just lists Martin Lee separate from Mr. Negative. You know, I don't know if that's significant. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I don't know. Maybe that has some sort of, I don't know, implication on the story. So for now, I'm just going to just, again, I'm going to treat it like Martin Lee and Mr. Negative are the same person. So, um, but yeah, going back to the Shocker, same, uh, same thing as Tombstone. He's kind of played his part in the story and he's gone, he's been taken away. So he's kind of done for, but no need to kill him off. He's going to survive. All right. And then here's our first big one. I feel Norman Osborn. Here's the thing. This is a comic book video game and comic book stories have a tendency to not pull the trigger all that often on certain characters. And even when they do, they bring them back. So I'm taking all of this with a pinch of salt. Even if I say these people die, like, you know, it's all with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? So with Norman, I don't know. I think he's going to survive. You know, he's a really well-established character in the story. And he's got a lot of connections to these other characters. I feel like he'll be... I still feel like... This is kind of getting into my predictions for the story. I still feel like he's going to become the goblin at some point. And we are going to defeat him, but not kill him. So I'm going to give Norman Osborn a survives, but is defeated. And with Martin Lee, I already predicted that um, I think he's going to die. You know, I got to have somebody die. I can't say everyone's just going to survive, you know. And if I had to put money on somebody dying that was a bad guy, I would put it on Martin Lee. So yeah, I'm going to give Martin Lee still a dies, you know. I think it might be a little too predictable for him to just, you know, become good in the end. I feel like after doing so much good, but tainting your... Um, uh, legacy by becoming Mr. Negative and doing all this crap to get back at Norman. I feel like that has to have consequences. That has to have weight. You know, you were a good person, you threw it all away, or you weren't even doing those good things for the right reasons, and you made your mistakes and he should pay for it. So I think Martin Lee, I think it would be a really good thing for him to die. You know, that might sound a little cynical, but, you know, I just feel like it would be good writing in, the, in that sense. Not that if he survives, it's bad writing, but just me personally, Based on what I know about his character and where I think the story is going, I think it would serve the narrative well for him to not survive this uh, adventure. Moving on to Aunt May, or Aunt May, depending what part of town you live in. Um, I love her so much. I wish she was my real aunt, and I love this version of her that they have in this game. She's been super cool in all the versions, even the um, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. I really enjoyed, um, I forget her name. The actress, the, Sa Sally Fields. I think Sally Fields was her name. I really liked her portrayal of Aunt May. But, um, you know, I love her so much, I just refuse to predict her dying. You know, so Aunt May, hard survives. Easy. But in all seriousness, guys, you know, let's just entertain the idea of her dying. She is really close to whoever, who's been the main villain. You know what I mean? This entire time. So they've been kind of teasing that danger close to Aunt May. You know, and it wouldn't be the first time that Aunt May has bitten the dust in Peter's life. No, I'm not talking about this game specifically, just in general. In all Spider-Man lore, Aunt May has bitten the dust before. So I'm not counting out the chance of her dying. You know, but I just got to think, what, what purpose would that serve for our boy Peter? What lesson would that teach him? What, what purpose would that serve the narrative? And, you know, I'm not a super good writer or anything, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe there is a way for them to spin it, you know. So, again, I'm still saying she survives, but there is a chance she's going to die. But I'm going to give it a 70%, 75% chance survives and a, a 25, 30% death. So, Aunt May, I'm holding out for you. You're surviving. Otto Octavius. Now, weirdly enough... You know, I it would be too much of a tease for him not to become Dr. Octopus by the end of the game. You know, so I know it's coming. They've been building up to it. You know, he's been even talking about adding on using the mind. You know, he was even talking about these neural interfaces, you know, because Dr. Octopus controls his tentacles with his mind. You know what I mean? So it, it's coming. 
And that leads me to also believe Norman is going to turn into the goblin by the end of the game. You know, we still don't know the whole mystery, but we know Oscorp has been working on something, you know. And always, what turns Norman into the goblin has always been, you know, most of the time, like to my knowledge, again, I don't have super extensive Spider-Man knowledge, but to my knowledge, it's always been some sort of biological project that his company has been working on. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what we have here with this Devil's Breath. I still think this Devil's Breath is going to turn him into the Goblin at some point. So bringing that back to Otto, he's going to become Dr. Octopus. If I had to pick one of them dying, I would pick Otto. And th that's because it would be kind of tragic. You know what I mean? Seeing the descent from, you know, aspiring scientists wanting to change the world and having things, everything taken away from him and him not having the mental fortitude you know the strength of heart to hold on to the good and instead go take the the evil route to get what he wants you know i feel like him dying would show like you just can't do that you know it'd be like a tragic hero not tragic hero a tragic story you know what i mean so i th i'm gonna predict Otto octavius i.e dr octopus i think he's gonna die by the end of the game over to our friend yuri watanabe trusty police chief i had a hunch for a while that she was secretly like masterminding maybe she was in cahoots with martin and no it's not because they're the only two asian characters in the game but i don't know i just had that feeling you know we haven't really interacted with her much she's kind of been doing her own thing but she's kind of had her hand in everything you know what i mean that it gave me a really heavy bioshock vibes and i'm not gonna spoil bioshock or anything more than i already have with that statement but if, if you know, you know. We trust Yuri, right? So she'd be the perfect character to betray us. But here's the thing. I already know, again, based off of the DLC, that she is involved in a good way with the Silver Sable DLC. So um, she's just in the same boat as Silver Sable and Black Cat, where I know for a fact, I hope, that she is going to survive. So Yuri, you get to survive. Kingpin, I mean, he was... Uh, he was the catalyst for the main store and he's kind of been like a side player for the rest of the game. You know what I mean? So I just don't see any point in killing him. I'm just going to not get into it. Wilson Fisk, Kingpin, you are going to survive. MJ. Ooh, okay. MJ. Should I, should I kind of go out on a limb here and say she's going to die or should I just play it safe and say she's going to survive? Here's the thing. We've had no mention of Gwen Stacy, right? And... We know Gwen, good old Gwen, always passes away. This this version of Spider-Man and Peter Parker's story has already taken some liberties with already known established things in the Spider-Man lore, like Oscorp. Oscorp is just, that's always just been Norman. It's never been Osborn and Octavius, you know what I mean? The O's or whatever, you know? It's never been that, but they've already changed that in a way. You know what I mean? Maybe... MJ is kind of like Gwen in this case, where she's going to be killed by the goblin. You know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe I might make this like a crazy prediction where, you know, she dies. But, you know, I mentioned it with Aunt May about how Aunt May has been kind of close to Martin. You know, danger close. Talk about danger close. She has literally been super reckless trying to help Peter and help this cause, you know, for, for, good, for a good cause. But she's been close to danger. Like, she was, like, feet away from this madman who could literally snap her like a toothpick. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. My heart says she's gonna survive, but my mind says she might bite the dust. So I gotta, gotta come to a decision here. I don't know, guys. I could see Peter losing someone close to him. I really could. And for all intents and purposes, I would have predicted Yuri to be that person you know a good loyal friend hard-working friend kind of like jeff you know but he, she passes away to kind of push him to the point where they want his character to be you know jeff was already kind of that way you know but that that also served the story in general you know it, it it gave stakes to the story i think peter is gonna lose somebody by the end of the game and the only ones that would be meaningful would obviously be aunt may or mj now, here's the thing, guys. What if, what if, you know, they've been teasing them getting back together, 
but they just don't get back together because she dies because she's been so involved because martin wants to get back at him or because norman knows about mj you know because of harry you know somebody one of these villains what if they get to mj and she passes away you know right when they were about to get that would be so freaking sad you know but at the same time it would be awesome from a story standpoint you know that might sound crazy to you guys but i don't know and just because of that potential because of the what they might be able to work with there story-wise and character-wise for peter i'm just gonna go out on a limb and predict mary jane dying my track record has not held up <laughs> in the past few games where i've predicted a character dying that was like you know super left field out of left field but um, I'm just going to keep doing it because, I don't know, I just think that would be cool. But again, if she survives, great, you know, because I love her and Peter's, um, this specific Mary Jane's and this specific Peter Parker's dynamic. I love their chemistry. It's super cool. So I'd be really hyped if she survives. Um, but I'm just going to say that Mary Jane Watson, I think she's going to pass away. I think she's going to die by the end of the story. So that leaves Peter Parker. And I already touched on him. I already think he's going to survive. But... Here's the thing, if the sequel is going to be Miles Morales, that begs the question, well, what happens to Peter? Maybe he and MJ goes and retires somewhere, you know, goes move, moves out of New York, meets up with Harry in Europe, you know, who knows? Maybe he dies, and it's just like, well, then maybe he dies in the DLC then. Because, I don't know, I just know that he, he has to play a part in the DLC, and that takes place after the main story. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm still sticking with survives, but maybe there's a slight chance he passes away, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But either way, if Miles is going to be the main character in a Spider-Man game, either he's going to be the protector of New York, and Peter either dies or moves away with MJ or just moves out by himself, or that Miles Morales game takes place in another city other than New York, which I'm not sure they would do, or maybe it's like a different part of New York, and you know, Miles and Peter are both Spider-Mans, you know, and maybe we'll see a, a Peter cameo. But again, we just don't know enough. So, I mean, I have to make a prediction. So I'm just going to say Peter Parker survives. <laughs> Lastly, all I got to do is share where I think the story is going to go and what's going to happen. And again, this is always super difficult. I was way off with The Last of Us 2. <laughs> way off. God of War, I don't quite remember. I'm pretty sure I was way off. Yeah, I, I went way ahead of God of War in, in the God of War predictions. So I was really wrong with that. So chances are I'm going to be really wrong with my story predictions with this one, but that's the fun of it. You know, you never really know, but when you do get it right, it just feels so good. So one of these days, one of my story or character predictions, like big char character predictions are going to come true. But um, as for the Spider-Man story, hmm, I just feel the story has been moving very, very slow. And the thing is, I have only heard good things about this game in terms of gameplay and its story. I've always uh, assumed that the gameplay was going to be the shining light in this game, but I never for once thought the story was going to be meh, you know, or mediocre. I, I still have high hopes for high expectations for the story. And they've done a, you know, if it's going to pop off soon, they have done an, ex an exceptional job with building that up, you know, laying the foundations of Otto, you know, just building his tragic story letting you grow to hate this man and how annoying he is and you know the mystery behind his him and his company's intentions with his devil's breath what martin why martin and his and his negative you know demons have against norma you know there's a mystery here that we're trying to unpack and and we are getting closer and closer you know me mj yuri and 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 miles to an extent you know what i mean so I think something big is going to happen and it has to include a bunch of these villains. It's like a Spider-Man 3 situation. There's just so many villains here that are building up and they're going to have to pull it off somehow. So I'm going to try to be as specific as I can, but you'll have to forgive me if I if I'm super vague for convenience sake. You know, I'm not doing it just to be conveniently vague in my predictions to get as much right as I can. There's just not much we know other than something, you know, between Martin and Norman has gone down. Norman has this devil's breath thing going on. Otto is slowly becoming a villain. You know what I mean? 
and MJ and Peter have been working hard to uncover this mystery and stop something terrible from happening. But we know from the Tombstone side missions and just little conversations we've had and side missions we've done, Martin is building up for something. He's building up for some sort of attack on Norman. And maybe this attack is going to send him spiraling. Something happens. Something puts pressure on him to where he does take a risk and it ends up backfiring him, uh, backfiring on him and forcing him into becoming the goblin. You know, but I do predict Silver Sable and her force squaring off against the demons in a big clash at some point. And I think Otto is going to be the monkey that throws a wrench in this story. You know, he is going to he's going to play a big part. You know, you can't just have you just can't build up this whole Dr. Octopus thing to have nothing happen in the end. You know what I mean? And again, the fact that we know the sequel does not include that there is a sequel for one and that it does not center around Peter it center, centers around Miles. We know these story uh, beats that they've been building up have to come to a conclusion in this game. You know what I mean? So I think Martin is going to face off against Norman and Silver Sable and he's going to lose. I think he's going to lose, but and you know, and that's going to result in him dying based on my prediction. But it's not going to be without a small win. And that is forcing Norman to crack. You know, and there's a true irony in that because that's what's going to happen to Otto. You know, they're, they, both of these guys are going to crack and become Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin. And I think we're going to face off against both of them. There's going to be some sort of big villain confrontation. Because let, let's, let's look at this realistically, guys. This spider-man game just just from a like a real world standpoint this spider-man game has been praised for being such a good spider-man story such a good just game it makes you feel like spider-man right but you know a good superhero game has to have a good super villain and are we really realistically saying that martin has been a good villain like an exceptional villain i don't know i don't think i'd go that far he's he's served the story well he's not terrible but a good enough villain to carry this game, you know, when you have little teases like having Norman Osborn pre-Goblin, Otto pre-Doc Ock, you know, and Kingpin locked up in the raft and a bunch of other supervillains in the raft, you know, is Martin really going to be the one that stands out? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So with that, with that said, we've only seen Shocker, Tombstone, and Taskmaster. Those are the only villains we've seen well kingpin i guess you could say but he was just like in the in the tutorial level so that doesn't really count you know but both shocker and tombstone are just side characters you know and rightfully so they were just kind of plastered on side missions you know and that's fine and same with taskmaster he's not really associated at least from my based on my knowledge like i don't think he's really associated just with spider-man you know so you know he was rightfully just put on some side tasks and that's fine so realistically the only big villain we've encountered is Martin Lee, and we haven't even fought him. We've only seen him do maybe one or two things, and we are already a little over halfway. I just have a feeling that Doc Ock and Green Goblin are gonna show up. I, I have a feeling, and we are gonna face off against both of them. And um, again, that's only that's gonna happen after Martin bites the dust. And I think MJ is gonna be the casualty, and maybe a fight with Norman. You know, so to to play on those Gwen Stacy. You know, to be like a Gwen Stacy type Easter egg where, you know, they, the makers of this game know we know about Gwen. And it's going to have MJ be the Gwen of this Peter's story, I think. Or maybe Doc Ock's going to kill him. But who knows? But I think these two are going to show up. And I think Green Goblin is going to be the final boss. Because I think, I think Otto's going to die at some point. Or we're going to at least beat him, incapacitate him somehow. I think he's going to die in the Green Goblin is going to be the bad guy because we've already seen a bunch of martin right we've been teased about doc ock so we know doc ock's coming but they have yet to mention green goblin the green goblin like green goblin guys he is spider-man's joker green goblin is the most iconic spider-man villain like i don't i don't want to hear any arguments the only one that comes close in my opinion is venom and i'm only talking about specifically spider-man villains no one compares to Green Goblin. And you have him right here in this game. There is no way this game's gonna end without him becoming the Goblin, you know? The only way I could see that not happening is maybe the Goblin will be Miles' villain or something. You know, maybe the game ends teasing the Goblin, Norman becoming the Goblin. But um, I don't know. 
I think, if you can't already tell, I just really want to see the Green Goblin. So I'm predicting that Norman is going Goblin, man. It's going to happen. Um, and he's going to become Doc Ock. So I don't know. To put this coherently, again, I'm always wrong with these, but I got I to gotta give a prediction somehow. So Martin is going to face off against Norman and Silver Sable. He's going to die, but not without forcing Norman's hand into becoming the Goblin. And conveniently, Doc Ock is also going to appear. And we're going to have to deal with Doc Ock and Goblin. And MJ is going to die but because she's been too involved, you know, and that's going to force Peter to do what he didn't want to do. And that's either kill Otto or kill Norman or something, you know. So I said I would say it coherently. I know that wasn't super coherent, but that's my prediction. So again, a quick review. I think everyone on this list is going to survive except MJ. I think she's going to die. Otto, I think he's going to die. And Martin, I think he's going to die. Everyone else I either know is safe, like uh, Miles or Silver Sable, or I think is going to be safe. So there you have it, guys. Um, this story, again, they, they've been building a lot. So it's, it's, it's been tough for me to kind of formulate my, my prediction for where I think the story is going to go and what's going to happen because they've, they've only built up to certain things. It's, it, there hasn't been too many things significant that have pushed the story forward. Other than really Jeff dying, that award ceremony. You know, everything else is kind of just little things we hear about here and there. Like through Norman or, you know, Norman's subordinates. Or Otto's, like going to the research lab and hearing about Otto's situation. Or these demons attacks and what they're planning. You know, there, there really hasn't been much, but uh, much to work with. But that's what I'm going to give you guys. So, I don't know. Let's hope I get one of those big ones um, correct. Whether that's Norman becoming the goblin. MJ dying or Martin dying, you know, so who knows what's going to happen. I'm just super hyped to see what is actually going to happen and keep playing the story. And guys, guess what? We have nothing else to do, literally, other than this main story mission where we are going to meet up with MJ at a Silver Sable uh, or Sable International base and see what's going to go down there. But we've done really well with keeping up on all of these. I'm going to... Um, when I have time off screen, I'm going to try to get three stars or, or get gold on these remaining five Taskmaster challenges. And I'm sure after this story mission, we're going to get, you know, the final three or four locked um, side tasks here. And if, if our track record is going to remain true, we are going to continue to do well with those. So I think we are entering the final um, part of our uh, Let's Play here. So really exciting stuff, guys. I gave you my predictions. Um, you know, if you're if you're watching me play this and you haven't played the game either, so you're experiencing this game through me, you know, it'd be cool, you know, to just compare what you think is going to happen to what I think is going to happen. And for those of you who have uh, beaten the game, I'm sure it's just as fun for you guys to see how super wrong I am with some of these or how amazingly right I am with some of these who knows but um but yeah that's why I like doing these predictions you know and I always look forward to this episode in my let's play series so those are my predictions guys exciting stuff's about to happen I can feel it so I'm not going to keep talking I hope you guys enjoyed this prediction episode and uh let's go ahead and move on with this main story mission in the next one I'll see you all over there peace